Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology. Today's video is going to be about setting up a NAS or Samba share using Alpine Linux in a Proxmox container. The first step of doing this is going to be to select our server out of our data center. You can see that I have labeled this select system on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side is our second step which is going to be to select a shell. By clicking this button we're going to create another browser tab that is going to allow you to work with the command line interface of this server. Now that we have the command line server interface for this server, we can type the update command that you see on the left. This will update the repository for available containers to this Proxmox server. The next step is going to be to display the available containers to the user. This command is shown on the left. On the right is a picture of the output that you're going to get. Now you're going to probably get 30 or 40 systems and you want to scroll to the top. The third line down in this case on this day is going to be the version of Alpine that we'd like to use, 3.12. Now that we have identified the container of Alpine that we want to use, we can use the download local command shown at the top to download this package. We want to make sure that we place a space after local and then the package name. Now in the output image shown here, I already had the package on my system, but you will get a similar output of it downloading. Alpine is very small and this will happen quite quickly. Here's a video of this process taking effect. And there you go, we have downloaded a container image for Alpine Linux. Now we need to set up the container to run Alpine Linux on our system. We can do this by clicking Create CT. You can see that I have circled this in this slide. Here is a video presentation of a container being created. Enter your host name. This can be whatever you like. Now you're going to enter your root password twice. Now we go to template and we select our image that we downloaded. Now we select our storage, our CPU, our memory, and our network settings. As you can see, I selected DHCP here. You most likely will want to select static. Now that your container has been created, we need to start our container and install the software to turn this into a NAS. The first step is going to be to select your container from the data center dropdown that you would like to start. Now in the upper right hand corner of our web interface labeled here as number two we are going to click start. This will start the container. Once the container is running we need to open the console. The console is very similar to the shell that we worked with before. It is a command line interface, in this case, 
for our server. Now, if you were doing a VM with a desktop environment, console would display as a graphical user interface. The first command we are going to run is going to be to update Alpine. It's going to be apk dash uppercase u upgrade. If you're f more familiar with Ubuntu, this command is going to take the place of the apt update and the apt upgrade command and combine them all in one. Now that we have done that, it'll be time to install Samba with, the a with an apk add Samba command. Now that Samba is added, it is time to create our share location. This is done with the command on the left hand side of the screen. Note that this share can be in any location you want. It does not have to be located in the media folder. I personally chose to put mine there because I like to keep everything together. Now it's going to be time to set the permissions for this location. We're going to use chmod0777 to set permissions available to all users. If you create more than one user at the end of this step, this will be important for making sure that they all have access to the files that you have shared. Now we're going to add Nano. Alpine comes default with Vim, but I'm really not comfortable working with Vim and I am more familiar with Nano. So to do this, we're just going to use the apk add nano command. If you're comfortable working with Vim, then you can skip this step. Now that we have installed Nano, we're going to navigate to the folder, the configuration file that you see in the top left of this slide. And we're going to add the lines that you see displayed below the configuration folders location to the bottom of this configuration file. Now, the information labeled as storage between the brackets can change. That will be a name that will be displayed when you go to this location. Note the path equals will need to be the same as whatever you selected as your location for your storage files. Browsable and writable should remain equal to yes. Now the last step is going to be to create the users that are going to use this shared file. I am only going to create one user at the end of this video presentation for you. But in most cases, you're going to want to create multiple users because you're going to have multiple clients accessing this system. The command to do this will be add user and then the username that you wish to create. In the right hand side of this slide, you can see me running this command. The user that I created was test. Now that you have entered or created the user and entered the user's password for the system. Now it is time to give the user a password or rights to use the Samba server. To do this, we're going to use the command SMB PASS WD A, followed by the username that was created during the previous step. This will prompt you for the password for the Samba share. It can be different than the user's password. The last step is going to be an RC update add Samba command. This will add Samba to the services for Alpine as well make it so it'll start on reboot. Now we need to start the Samba services for the first time. Now that this is done, you have a Samba shared NAS using an Alpine Linux container. The last step of this presentation, before it concludes, 
is a short video presentation of these steps taking place on my container. This concludes this presentation of how to create a lightweight NAS using an Alpine Lennox container. If there is a video that you would like a DIY done on that is related to technology, please share it in the comments below. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Every subscription helps Virtualize Everything get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Meeting our goal of 1,000 subscribers means YouTube will begin monetizing our videos. The monetization means that Virtualize Everything will be able to afford more equipment to bring you better, informative projects and improve the quality of your videos. As always, have a good night.